Morning everyone. Cycle computers. Garmin's are pretty much ubiquitous but there are others on the market. For example the Wahoo, this is the Element Bolt, and the Precursor, the Element. What are they like? Are they worth buying? Are they better than a Garmin? Stick around and find out. I've been on a journey with Garmin's. I started out with a 500, that's the little blue one, and then I got an 800, which was dark blue and a bit bigger. Um, that wasn't enough for me. So then I bought a 510, I think. Uh, but I struggled with the 510. Uh, I couldn't work out how to use it for some reason. So uh, I sold it to a good friend of mine called Bash and then I bought a what did I buy then I bought a Wahoo Element this is the Wahoo Element and it is by the way E-L-E-M-N-T they miss out the third E that's significant and I used this element for a few rides and I went on the Liège Baston Liège Sportive and for some reason I couldn't upload my ride and that being a really good Sportive I was a little bit pissed off if I'm honest so I contacted Wiggle and I said I've had enough of this element I want to send it back and they said well you can't and I said well I should be able to because I spend a lot of money with Wiggle and they said, well, you can't. And I said, if you don't let me send this back, I'm not going to spend any more money with you ever. And they said, so? So I was stuck with my element and I had to keep on buying stuff from Wiggle. So Wiggle won, Julian, nil. So I carried on using the element and it was okay. I was quite happy with it. But when I had my Garmin's, I bought a whole load of K-Edge aluminium mounts. Very nice mounts, they were. Uh, and I had quite a few of them because I had a collection of, of Garmin's. But my Wahoo element didn't fit in the K-Edge mount. So I was a bit stuffed. So I thought, I've got all these mounts. I'd better get a new Garmin. So I bought the 1000 and the 1000 is an all singing, all dancing Garmin, about the size of a paperback book, uh, fabulous mapping functions, uh, but the battery life was shit, frankly. Uh, I went for a long ride and when I say a long ride, it's about eight hours or so, maybe even a bit, a bit longer, and the battery ran out. Now, if you ask me, a cycle computer where the battery runs out before your ride is finished is about as much use as a pair of flippers on clipless pedals. In other words, no fucking use at all. So I was really annoyed about that. Um, so I sold that on eBay, got quite a good price for it. And I thought, I've got my element, um, but I need another cycle computer because you can't really just have one cycle computer, can you? I mean, what if it goes wrong? I mean, you, if it goes wrong, you, you've got nothing. You've got nothing. You can use your phone, but I mean, you can't use your phone because your, your battery doesn't last shit on your phone. So I had to get another cycle computer. So I thought, I know, I'm fairly happy with the Wahoo, I'll get another Wahoo, but I'll get the Bolt. And this is the Bolt. And the Bolt is like the Element, but it's a bit smaller. So if I hold them up side by side, the, sorry, that's upside down. The one I'm holding in my right hand, that's this hand, by the way, is the original Element. And the one I'm holding in my left hand, which is this one, is the bolt and as you can see if I put them side by side like that the bolt is quite a little bit smaller 
and it's quite nice in terms of the form factor. The form factor is what you call, I suppose, the kind of design. I'll just put that down. The element is quite angular. Can you see that? They're quite sort of squared off sides here. I mean, it's rectangular, but it's it's squared off. And can you see that? Can you see that? See that? See? It's quite it's quite angular. It's quite cubist, really. Yeah, it's quite cubist. Whereas the bolt, the bolt is the bolt is sort of curved. Can you see that? See, it curves there, and it curves there, and it's a sort of curve there. Now they do say with the bolt, and you get a special mount with the bolt, that the uh, bolt is designed for this special mount and it saves uh, about 5 watts per 10 kilometres or something like that. I mean it's bollocks, let's, let's be honest, it's, it's bollocks. But it sounds good and it and it's it's nice it's a nice it's a nice shape quite tactile actually if you go back to the original element you can see here and i'll hold it up a bit closer there are these kind of raised bits here which is what you press to make the adjustments but they're a little bit a bit fiddly if i'm honest they've changed that on the bolt and if you can see here there's a kind of serrated, rough, kind of Velcro almost feeling bit, and it's much easier to change the functions with your finger or if you're wearing gloves. So the bolt is very nice, but a bit smaller. Now I'm going to turn the bolt on and let's see how long it takes to warm up. You turn it on by pressing this button here on the side. See that little little light came on there at the top? So it's coming on, it's warming up, it's warming up. See it says Wahoo there, can you see? It says Wahoo and it says Element Bolt. Can you see that? It says Element Bolt and it says Warming Up down the bottom. Little picture of a man on a bicycle there um, on a kicker. Funnily enough, he's on a turbo, he's not actually riding on the road. And it's warming up, warming up, bear with, bear with, bear with. It's warming up, it's warming up, still says it's warming up. And, oh, there it is. It's, come on, I'll hold it up fairly close so you can see that. So, reasonably quick to warm up. Just make sure that about 30 seconds before you go out on your ride, you switch it on. Now, there are three screens on the bolt. There are also three screens on the, the original element. This first screen has, uh, sorry, I'm just going to have to look at it now, um, uh, power, if you're using power meter, uh, miles per hour, uh, distance, uh, the length of your ride, there's a clock, uh, beats per minute, that's, that's for your heart rate monitor, uh, RPM that's for your cadence monitor and then if you press page there that gives you your data about climbing the uh, uh, speed the grade the amount you've climbed the amount you've descended your VAM never know what VAM is um, the elevation and then on the next page you've got a map and you can see there the map coming up and then if you go on to the next screen, you're back to the original screen. So you've got three, three screens. And if you use this um, two buttons here at the side, you can press the top button and that gives you less data, but with bigger numbers. Uh, sorry, press the wrong button there. Uh, less data, but with bigger numbers, or you can have more data but smaller numbers. That's the most amount of data you can have on a screen, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fields. I think they're called fields. That's the that's the technical name for it. And you set it up by using your phone, which is 
in some respects an advantage, in some respects a bit of a disadvantage. It means that you've, well, you've got to have a smartphone for a start. I know most people have, but not everybody has. Um, you need to have a smartphone and you download the app and then you um, pair the two using, using Bluetooth or you can hold your phone's camera over the screen and it, and it pairs sort of automatically and then you change various settings on your telephone so that all you then change on the unit itself is the uh, amount of data that you see on the various screens, the three screens themselves and then if I press this button at the side it allows you to pair your various um, things like a heart rate monitor, a cadence monitor, power meter or kicker if you're using a kicker and it works very well with the kicker. Now you'll want to know what it looks like in the mount or on the mount. In the mount or on the mount? Well, what would you say? I'd say on the mount, although you have to put it in the mount for it to be on the mount. Sorry, that, that's a bit of a, uh, a digression really. One thing that uh, a little bit irritating is that the um, mount mount thingy, uh, my vo vocabulary seems to be deserting me, but this thing here, which is how you click it into the mount, and we'll, we'll see the mount in a moment, is not the same as a Garmin mount. So my 42 Garmin K-Edge aluminium mounts in a whole multitude of colours, uh, ended up selling them all uh, because the Wahoo doesn't fit. I think you can now buy adapters so that you can get your Wahoo to fit your Garmin mount, but that's a bit late for me because I've sold all my Garmin mounts, which was perhaps a bit, um, a bit previous of me. Anyway, you can get a K-Edge aluminium Wahoo mount, which looks uh, very attractive, very nice form factor, uh, but it's not cheap, as none of the K-Edge stuff is. But this isn't a K-Edge review, this is a, a, a Wahoo element bolt. And original element. The original element, by the way, has the same three screens, the same amount of data, uh, the same way of pairing it with heart rate monitor, or cadence monitor, or um, kicker, or uh, power meter, by pressing the, the side button, and it turns on in the same way. I don't think, I'm not 100% certain about this, but I don't think there's any difference between the element bolt and the original element, as opposed to the size, uh, and the fact that the original element was more expensive. So in that you can change the size of the figures, although you can't, uh, although you can sort of zoom in and zoom out on the map, if you're my sort of age and you don't have great eyesight, then you probably like the slightly bigger map that you get on here, although the information on the map that you get on the bolt is is really just as good. Uh, unlike uh, some of the Garmin, certainly the Garmin 1000, the uh, data and the mapping and everything else is in black and white on the, the Wahoo. So you don't get any pretty colors on the screen, but then do you really need them? Probably not. Here we can see the K-Edge outfront mount and I'll just put the bolt into the mount there. Just make sure it slots in properly. And there you are, you can see it in the mount and it looks very nice. This is the K-Edge mount and shortly we'll see it in the um, bespoke element bolt mount. This is the special mount which uh, Wahoo provides with the element bolt and I'll just put the bolt into the mount.
and there you are you can see it in the mount that's the top view this is the special element bolt mount from the side gives you some idea of the aerodynamic look of the mount and this is the mount from the front and you can see again some idea of the aerodynamic nature of the bolt in the mount so if you're looking to save a few watts for your time trial or for whatever this is the way to go so is there anything that i don't like about the uh wahoo uh, first of all just a word about the battery life uh the battery life is is very good it's probably not what they claim it is but then they, they never are but i've been on rides or, or i've been out on the bike uh for more than 12 hours and there's enough power left in the bolt so i don't have really any concerns about using the bolt for a, a very long ride they always say for example on the on the garmin or, or any cycle computer frankly that if you turn off the backlight or you turn off the mapping functions or you turn off this or you turn off like that then you'll extend the battery life well my answer to that is why don't you turn the whole fucking thing off and then the battery will last forever so i mean that is just silly if you want a computer you want one that's got the data on it when you need it you don't want to turn it off and if it's in bright sunlight and you want the backlight on so you can see the screen well then you want the backlight on so you can see the screen i mean you, you know don't don't tell me to turn it off that's just that's just rubbish um so what do i not like about it well th there's really only one thing that i don't like about it and that's sometimes the unit does not pair with the phone now you link your unit to your phone as i've said and then it operates over wi-fi and you get back to your house you finish your ride you press the stop button and it uploads automatically to strava or, or whatever other uh, system you're using but if you are in a, a an unknown location and i was i was cycling in in europe a couple of weeks ago so you're not on your normal wi-fi connection the unit was having real difficulty finding the phone and you try and pair them and it doesn't pair you switch them off and then you switch them on again and you try and do all that kind of stuff that you're supposed to do and on one day it took about four or five hours before I could get the damn thing to pair and in the end I had to unpair and repair it and that's happened uh, a few times and that's a bit irritating um, but I haven't lost any data apart from the problem that I had over the Liège Baston Liège ride with the element that I was talking about earlier I will admit that that may have been partly my fault because I think in getting kind of uh, a bit angry with it and being in an un unfamiliar place, I was in Belgium, I was tired after a long ride, I was trying to upload it, it wasn't happening, I was pressing various buttons. I think I may, I just may, have done a factory reset and uh, destroyed all my data. So it may partly have been my fault, but I, I refuse to accept that. Um, any more than than you know a, a contributing factor being my fault so sometimes i've had trouble pairing it um but i haven't got any other complaints about the bolt um i don't have any real complaints about the original element the buttons down the bottom are a little bit harder uh to use uh and it's not it's not the prettiest of units to look at um but apart from that no complaints it charges by the way from a mini usb uh don't know about you every garmin that i've had the rubber cover on the mini usb or the the, the connector anyway uh ends up 
not working properly. Not so far had that problem with the uh, Wahoos. Same thing here, this little pale blue plastic cover reveals, you see that, reveals the mini USB connector at the bottom and press the cover back and it stays on quite nicely. So that's the uh, element bolt. That's the original element. They are nice units. They work well. For me, they have replaced my Garmin's. I now no longer own any Garmin's and I'm pretty happy with them. See you next time.